Okay, so now I'm going to do this table because it's closer to me and I don't want to draw something that is going to cover this. So this is why I don't draw this couch first. I draw the table because it's closer to me. The other table, I'm not even sure that I can see it. We can figure that out later. But right now I'm going to start with this one and as you can see here on this drawing, it's just a box, okay? So I'm going to draw that box. First thing I do is I find the height. Remember, I have it. I have traced it on my floor. What do I do next? I find how high it is. So always high is up. Up. Always draw this, and then you're gonna give it the height. Also this one, height. I cannot see this, so I'm not going to draw it because it's going to be covered by this wood. And then it says it's 21 inches high. How do I do? I take this line to my vanishing point, okay? When it hits my true size wall, I go up, and it's on this line that I'm going to measure in order to have all the measurements here. I need to remember, I need to bring the line here to my true height wall. This is not my true height wall. This in the back, what was my grid, is my true height wall. So I'm going to measure the 21, that 21 is 12, plus nine, yes, 21. So almost two feet, but not quite. So nine, here, nine plus one, here this is 21, 21, okay? So I take my 21 to my vanishing point, which is going to bring me back to the height of my table. This is the height of my table. This is the side of my table. Okay? And in order to transfer this, this is very easy because it's a cube. I'm just going to use my horizontal. My horizontal right here. And I have finished my table. Because my table is 21 and my uh, my other couch is 30, I still need to draw the side of, I think I'm still going to be able to see some parts of this couch. So I'm, first of all, I'm going to realize, I'm going to find out how much of this couch I need to see. How much of the height? It's here, right? This is the height of my couch. This is the side of my couch. So let's take the side, for example. Let's bring this side to my vanishing point, to my true height wall. When it touches my true height wall, it's here where I can measure, okay? So let's measure the side of the couch is going to be 16 plus 8, 24. Let's see if I can see this. I lost it, I go back here, okay. So let's see if I can see 24. It's two feet. 24. So I don't know if I'm able to see the side of my couch. I am. I can see it behind the table. How do I know? Because it's here. It's higher than my table. So I'm going to draw it from this point down. From this point down here because my couch finishes here. This is one, two and a half. Here is where my couch finishes. I have traced it on the floor before. So here is the side of my couch. Here is the side of my couch, okay? And here is where the side, the front of my hand rest finishes. And it's only this little piece what I can see. I'm gonna finish my, my arm rest. It's here, okay? So this is my arm rest. My armrest, my back rest starts here. 
okay? So I have a little question. If this ends here, Just double checking my measurements okay so I'm going to take the back of my couch and I am going to measure it's okay 24 I need to measure one more okay. Get it. because it's on the same line here as what I measured to the side of my couch I am going to measure 24 plus 6, because we can see it here, that is 24 plus 6. And this is going to be the side of my couch. see it here okay and it's going to go to my vanishing point this side of my couch this side of my couch and it ends right here this is where this ends Okay, so now I have the back of my couch built, but I would like to know also if I can see the little line here that is 13 plus 6, it's 13 plus 6 is 13 plus 6 is 16, and this is where the side, where the cushion, where I sit starts. So I would like to know if I can see that line, okay? I'm going to bring it back to my wall. I'm going to go up, measure 16. Um, and I want to see if yes, I can see a little bit of where I can sit on my couch. Okay. This is where we sit. This is the where the cushion is. This is where you would sit, right here. And now I have to draw the back of my couch, which is right here. Here's where my arm starts. Mm, here's where it starts. Here's where it ends. This, all these lines coincide, so it's very hard to see them. Just retracing my couch. I always tell you to retrace, to trace it on the page, so it's easier to see. Okay, so technically, on this point right here, these are the bottom of my hand rest. Okay. This is my other piece of my hand rest. And I need to figure out how tall my hand rest is. We know that it is 21, right? Because it's 16 plus eight is 24. We had already measured 24 here. Okay, this is 24 why it's so important to measure it, okay? So then, after going here, measuring 24 here, oh no, 24 here, I'm going to bring it back. And this is going to be This is going to be our sofa, the side of our sofa. I still need to measure here on this same point. I need to measure three. 
I had measured three before, but I erased it. So I need to measure three because I think that we can see here a little detail of the foot of my sofa, okay? So I am going to measure here on the same line that I measured my armrest. I'm going to measure three. This three. I'm going to take three to my vanishing point. Back to my sofa and no, we cannot see it. It's being covered here, okay? So I finished my second couch. And now you can literally sit on it. Okay? It's not here, it's right here. Where it finishes, it's right here. So this is our second couch. I'm going to do like I did with the first. I'm gonna trace it in black. And we're going to erase all the lines that are not good. Oh no, this is not my good black pen. So I'm going to trace it in black and I'm going to erase all the bad lines and we can continue in our next video with our table and our wall unit and that will be it.